Okay, after coffee, I realized I really hadn't eaten anything at all today. Been literally sitting here, working on things, drinking Perrier and coffee. So, I figured it was time to get some food. I didn't want to make anything, so I ordered Thai food. If you didn't know, I used to go to a Thai place in Eugene, my old, my old stomping grounds, the old place where I used to, where I originated the vlog back in the day, four years ago. 400 and some episodes ago, which is crazy. But um, I used to go to this Thai place called Tasty Thai. And I found a Thai place here in Phoenix that actually makes fairly good Pad Thai, which I'm stoked about. I always ask for them to make it as hot as they possibly can. The place is called Chan Pen. They deserve a shout out. Great place. Also, I realized that when I was a little kid, I used to, not little kid, but a few years ago, I would make fun of people for using selfie sticks. And now I literally, this is the, I literally talk to a selfie stick or use a selfie stick every single day. How crazy is that? Ooh. You cannot tell me that that isn't some of the most delicious looking Pad Thai goodness you've ever seen. YouTube channel. Subscribe. Anyways, um... Chilling out the rest of the night, so I don't know if there's going to be any super interesting content outside of just uh, me chilling out Maxon. Um, I do want to explain the bounds, though, so let's cut to that part of the vlog. Here's here's the thought behind the stair bounds and the, the bounding up the... Here it is. Okay, so the reason that we use hills or plyometrics like that, jumping up stairs, jumping up boxes, or whatever you have in track, is because it simulates a lot of the pushes that you're going to have at the beginning of a race or like builds the correct running technique. So it kind of forces you to bring your feet up in front of you and at a level that is good for getting forced back into the ground. So if you think about it, um, your speed is going to be equal to how much or how efficiently you can put force into the ground it's going to be able to move your body so if i didn't put enough force into the ground it's going to move my body anywhere that's just me standing if i put some force into the ground that equates to a little jump then i'm putting more force into the ground than my body weighs and i'm going to be like there's a different anyways when you <laughs> that was a long explanation for something that shouldn't necessarily have taken that long so when you come out of the blocks you're at an angle that's like whatever pretty steep and then throughout the race, you get to a pretty much vertical. You're still at a slight forward lean all the way through the race, depending on whatever event you're doing. When we work on the hills, it forces us to kind of maintain that position, maintain that forward lean into the hill, work on our dorsiflexion, and like 
proper running form as we push through the hill to try and run faster up the hill. Um, and then when we are doing the plyometrics, it's about like reacting um, off of the jump previous. So that's why we don't just do like one block, like one thing and then stop and turn around and come back down. One thing, stop, turn around and come back down. Because there's no reaction out of it. If you were to jump up onto a box and then react out of it, or like jump up again and then just land on the box, walk off. We did that a bunch as well um, when we didn't have stairs. But a simple set of stairs, I think that was 22 stairs with like a weird little gap or 21 stairs with a weird little gap, so it's probably closer to 25. And you just try and set like a goal, I want to make it up in three jumps, I want to make it up in four jumps, I want to make it up in five jumps. Then you have to carry your momentum to get to the next jump, and it forces you to be from a loaded position and be very reactive out of it. So like reactive out of the blocks, you're in a very squished up, scrunchy position to extend and get to a much fuller like explosive position, then you need to be able to react out of that scrunched up position. When we jump like that on stairs, it forces us to be in those good positions. The other stair bounding stuff is really just like building calf strength, building quickness and working on those fast switch muscles, similar to, similar to like what a uh, jump rope would be. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope that this, uh, this talk helped you understand why we do some things. I know a lot of you guys always ask um, why we do certain things in our training or in my training. Um, and that it's, it's, it all has a purpose and I love explaining it because like I said in yesterday's video, I'm kind of a track junkie and I love that stuff. But the tomorrow's, tomorrow's video is actually going to be another workout. Um, I don't know if you guys want to do it with me, so I'm probably just going to film it like I would film a normal day workout like this. So, uh, but if you want to see the full workout beforehand, I actually made a video about it in college, so I'll link that. I think it comes up up here. So I'll link that up here, and then um, you guys can watch that. And yes, I did vlog in college. So literally the exact same thing. I've been doing this for a while. Anyways, remember, be nice to people. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt others. Slow down. Don't dance so fast. I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.